Sister Rosemary Efe Okenga, do you take Brother Patrick Ikechuku Iroka to be your lawful husband so that both of you will live together according to the will of God concerning marriage? Will you love him, obey him, honor him, and nurse him in all circumstances? Will you reject all other men and live with him also as long as both of you live? Rosemary! No! Frank? That's great. Wait. is supposed to be coming from us to you and not from you to us. No, you, you don't understand. I see. Honestly, I'm 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 worried, Steve, about her. You know, school has been in session for about a month now, and and Rose hasn't shown up. Well, maybe before the week runs out, she'll come back. Look, the truth is, Rose isn't coming back. She's dropped out of school. 
she's what? Don't mind her, Frank. She's not telling the truth. Tell her. Look, let's just face this thing. Rose is not coming back. Dropped out of school? We, why? How? Why did she tell me? See, Rose couldn't face you to tell you she was leaving school. Ever since she lost her father, her mom has been the only one responsible for the family. And you know, her mom just lost her job some months back. And since then, everything has come to a standstill. Oh, no. Oh, God. But, but, but she has barely 18 months to, to graduate. I mean, how, how could she drop out of school now? Because she had nowhere else to turn to for help. Don't you understand? Where is she now? Where else? She's at Bini at home, of course. Where did you get that? What? I mean, the necklace. Oh. Well, I bought it from Rose. She set it up for auction and I bought it. Anything? No, um, can I buy it back? I mean, I'll pay twice the price. I am very sorry. I don't sell my things, especially my jewelry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. No, Linda, it's not what you think. Um, um, see, I, you, you don't understand. I see, I, I got that necklace for Rose to mark. One year of our relationship. Oh, well, it's mine now, and I'm very sorry. Please, can I get it back? You see? It means the world to me. I'll do anything. What do you think? Just give it back and don't collect a dime for it. Okay. You can have it. Yeah, I'm grateful. Oh, it's nothing. Um, uh, guys, uh, I promise I'll get Rose back. No! Don't worry. Get her back. I wish you luck. Alright. See you some other time. Bye. Bye, guys. You are the love of my life You are the air that I breathe I wonder what my life will be without you Nothing can take your place in my heart Our love No matter where you go, I want you to know I will wait for you. Every time I close my eyes, it's just your smile that I see. I don't care if it takes. I wait for the day you return to me, my darling. Our love will never die. Though we laugh and cry, I belong to you. 
What are you staring at? The future. Now, look up to the sky. Mm -hmm. Right? Are you looking? Mm -hmm. And watch out for a falling star and make a wish. And how long do I have to wait for a falling star to make a wish? Shh. Don't look. If you have to wait for me, how long will it take? Eternity. Still not looking. Frank. Now, eyes closed. Is your eyes. If you are to make a wish, how will it be? To love you for the rest of my life. Eyes open. Jeez, this is beautiful. Thank you. It's nothing compared to you. See, baby, you are the most beautiful girl in the whole world. And I love you. Uh, why? Rose has dropped out of school. Her mother lost her job and so she couldn't finance her school any longer. Yeah. So but I intend to pay her school fees. Even if it means I selling everything that I have. I mean, Richie, I can't be here enjoying when my girl is out of school. When I know if I sell a few of my things, I can raise enough money to, 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 to pay her remaining two, uh, two, two sessions. You mean, you want to sell your properties to pay school fees for a babe? Are you mad? Shut up, Richie. They're mine. I bought them with my money, so I decide what I do with them. Oh boy, you don't have colo. Are you sure you don't want to sleep over it? Okay now, carry go. Rose. We can only try, but we can never run away from our shadows. How did you find me? I've been to your house, your office is getting this address. Because I, I have no time to waste, right? I'm going back to Lagos with me right now. I'm going to go back home, pack your things, and we're going back to school.
Here. This is 57,000 naira. I'm sure it'll be enough to pay off the remaining two sessions. Frank, how did you get this money? I'm waiting for you all Rose, why did you treat me this way? You don't understand. I don't. I trusted you, but, but, but you had this problem and you kept it all bottled up inside of you. Why? I'm sorry. But I don't want to bother you with my personal problems. Frank, I didn't tell you this before. See, after my father died, my mother managed the meager salary she earns to take care of the whole family. Until last month, she looked where she lost her job and everything came to a standstill. I'm the first of six children. I had no choice. I had to drop out, get a job, and so I just, I could take care of her, you know? I'm sorry. But there's no job you would do now that can earn you a good salary, unlike when you graduate and, and get a good job. Or, or you want to remain a sales girl all your life? Frank, I appreciate your concern. But it's not all about school. I mean, there are other things I have to do, like buy my books, my handouts, food, shelter, stuff. Shh. Rose, for as long as I eat, you will eat. When I buy my books, you buy yours. As long as I have money in my pocket, the purse will not lag. Just promise me you'll come back to school with me and finish up. I'll go through fire for you. Thank you so much. Now, wow. I thought Frank was joking when he said he wanted to bring you back to school, no matter what it cost him. My friend, he insisted I must finish. And he says he can pay my school fees through the rest three semesters. I just hope I haven't lost too much to uh, uh, Trust now, your usual ethical nature. You always catch up. <laughs> but Rose, I envy you. Honestly, eh? I never knew such guys still exist. Imagine a guy in present-day Nigeria paying a girl through school. <laughs> Do I count myself lucky? Uh, hey, Linda, Frank told me you gave him back the necklace I sold to you. That was very sweet. Have, uh, what are friends for? Uh, Bokomo, you go drop something. No? <laughs> Colors of this beautiful flower. Well, drama. What a beautiful place this world will be, all the You know, every time we're together, my heart feels with you. It's like I've never experienced it before. I just wish it would never end. Why? Come on. Our love will last until the end of time. I love you. Frank. Let me drive you. Okay. I'll drive it. Check this out. Woo! Time up. Time up, time up, time up. Samson, can you collect from that crew? Yes, sir. Quickly. Time up, time up, time up. Quickly. Take time up, Anton. 
Absent from school. Good day, class. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Fuck you too, sir. <laughs> Let's go. So this break, do something yes. Be together. I'll make it up to you. Really? <laughs> Where's come from here? Walk in. Where better put walk on by something like shimmer over? Come on, come on. We'll go take your drink. It's shimmer walk on drink. I beg. Puka. Mm. One guy they nyan for campus. He said he believes say that guy they make way for the people because our parents will scatter. Boy, cool down. You are in for no jail at all. That guy arranged himself well, kid. In my piling, he no get pay at all. As he said, all this one more than the young. Now, now, yeah, I know they leave for that side. Me, I dig the pain. Sure you get. Okay. Huh? Better brain plus beauty. Oh! Oka Messiah deserve the meanest babe on campus. Have you how nasty? No! Oka, you are my man! Are you? Oka, you are my man! Oka, you are my man! Oka, you Can make a more soup. Right? And what would your answer have been? I cannot sit here. My boyfriend is sitting here. Sorry. Oh. Your boyfriend? <laughs> Never mind. Hmm? I am here now. That is what she wants. Excuse me. Is your problem? That's my seat. Hey, relax. That's not me what I like you. Huh? Hello. I'm talking to you. Do you have my seat back? You mean I should get up for you to sit down? Huh? Fuck off! That Moka Messiah should get up from Baka to sit down? Final fuck off! Who you be, sir? My friend, I don't know what you're talking about, okay? For all I care, I got up here to get more soup. After all, my fucking seats around. Right? Sorry, you. Sit down. 
Ross! Não precisa! Just coming. You are just coming. And look at how shabbily dressed you are. I, 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 I wonder what manner of lawyer you, you, you'll become. That is, if you eventually graduate. Can you please leave my class? Out! Unfortunate interruption. I was saying that we're going to be looking at Nigeria's constitutional reforms since independence. Luciano, 
I don't suffer. I don't suffer for this school. Puka Mezaya. Ha! I say people can't get that. When they begin clap and they laugh me. Because of that day. Again? Uh, for this school? Fuck all. Who can't be the bagger now? Wait to Puka. Now because of that, Mumu, Frank, now the babe, they fuck up like this. Ah! Puka Yan! Mumu Yan! Puka Tom! Baga self say, he get idea. Who can't be who for this school now? Say! Now waiting the tense. Puka, you can go for and be the bastard. Chai! No, Zubi! Zubi, no! No! Eh? Chill! Hapu! Hapu the guy! Viva! I go give him load way, he go carry for the rest of his life. Eh? Viva! <laughs> no be babe! No be babe in the follow me drag! <laughs> it is okay! <laughs> Poker me, Zaya! <laughs> it is okay! Can you imagine? The other even suggested that we, we, we both change school. Change school with less than six months graduation? <sighs> Tell me something else. And a more serious note, Frank. I don't want you to get hurt. If there's anything you suggest we can do. Oh, don't worry, Rose. Listen, every true love strives in sacrifice. Okay? You don't want to fight me not because I love you, or because of you. Splendid. Gladly take all the blows. As a price I must pay for me. For our love. Alright? Come to think of it. I chicken out for a guy like me. Then I don't love you. I do. I love you too. Splendid. Splendid. Well, let me tell you this. Their greatest weapons are threats and intimidations. If we don't fall for their cheap black news, then they will leave us alone. Come on, Rose. They can't destroy the beautiful paradise they have ahead of us. Except you want to teach him my job. If because he belongs to one secret organization or the other that you can challenge my authority, then I may have you reported. So you merely employ cheap blackmail. I wrote your test, submitted your assignment, yet you gave me an E. The same thing you did last semester. My friend, if you're not satisfied with the grade, then you may request for your script to be remarked. Ah, what kind of remark is that? You're the same fellow wicked lecturer that remarked it. You think because you're a lecturer and the word is in your hand, right? Mark me down again, and I will take a drastic action against you. Mm.
Yeah. Welcome. Uh -huh. Are you okay? Yes. Welcome. Uh -huh. Is it true what I'm hearing? About what? I heard Frank was arrested last night. What? Arrested? For what? I don't know. I heard it's one of the cultists who shot Dr. Odenta. That he actually shot him. Cultist? Something like that. That's not possible. What? You know he's not. I'm coming. Wait, 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 wait. Rose, where are you going to? Kelechi, something. What happened? Why didn't you tell them? You know Frank is not in cultist. You should have told them the truth. Eh, why? See this one. Come, they tell you to the right call for this. Eh? Come, I beg. No involve me for this issue at all at all. I beg more than you already. Kelechi! Something. You know, Frank, you do hurt a fly! Sure that the innocent is not punished unjustly. All we are saying is that you appear in court and take a look at the boy. That's all the judge requires, and the boy will be set free. Oh, well, he actually mentioned that you both had some misunderstanding, and that he actually threatened you. But I can assure you that it was an empty threat. The boy meant no harm. I see. That boy threatened firebrands, too. He threatened hell for me. Yes, and he has actualized his threat. He has rendered me crippled. If I had died, what if I had died? Oh, uh, I, I, I understand. I can understand your plight, and uh, I sympathize with you. But, but, but justice, justice, my foot. Will justice bring me up from this wheelchair? I spent 25 years of my life teaching, raising men and women to help build a better society. How do I get paid to be eternally confined to this wheelchair? Barrister, is enough trouble as it is being a crippled. Good day. I've got no testimony to give. It's funny, I didn't even see the face of whoever it was that shot at me. But I'm convinced it must be that boy. 
He just in fire. I mean, he, 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 he swore to deal with me drastically. And he has succeeded. Yes, it must be him. It must be him. Oh, you do much. <laughs> you do much, clean dog. I hear my cow for you. <laughs> clean dog. You know, say, oh my God, believe say that Frank I ain't her mouth to do that. I beg, so be bold. I say bold. When the guy show dog small, eh? He go no see when job be small. He go no see dog. No, the short cooler. Now today, now stay back with center party. <laughs> Give me some more. Now I won't try my eh? As I don't plan that gun for a room. With the katakata we ain't get with Dr. Dinta. Now straight to give me five reason. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. to the intelligent submissions of both the defense and prosecution counsels, I deliver my judgment as follows. That the accused cannot be charged with attempted murder because the prosecution has failed to prove that the same gun found with the accused is the same with which Dr. Udenta was shot. Yes. However, the accused person is guilty as charged on the second count charge of illegal possession of firearms and on the third count charge of membership of a secret society on campus. He is therefore to serve a cumulative 10 year jail term with hard labor and without an option of a fine. This judgment should serve as a deterrent to our students in higher institutions who get themselves involved in civil court activities. All right. <coughs> Go! separate us for a while. The barrier of distance, I know is temporary. Every day, 
I shall implore the wind to carry the silent whispers of my love to you in jail until you come out to me when no mortal force can separate the binding cord of our union. I shall wear this ring, your ring, as a living covenant of my promise to wait for you. To where you go, I want you to know I'll wait for you. Hi, Rosie. Um, actually, I've been looking for you this past week. I wanted to say I am sorry. I heard about what happened to your boyfriend. So sorry. Well, actually, I wanted us to. You know, I went to see Frank <laughs> and he told me he's been transferred to Medjugorje prison. Oh my god! Medjugorje prisons? That's serious! And you know what I'm talking about? How am I supposed to cope with my final exam and travel to Medjugorje to see him? Why so did you have to do this? Put yourself together. <laughs> oh, who's that? I love you. I, I just came to give you this. It's a, it's a gift. Hey, okay. I guess I'll... Get out! 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 Are you done? Yes. Thank you. I have done everything possible to secure his release. But come to me and Where are my daughter? If you feel you can wait. Well. Mommy, it's not a matter of if I feel like it. Frank and I love each other very much. I'll be off to a year for the next 12 months for my NYC. And before you know it, 10 years is over. <laughs> stop crying, stop crying. Look, I assure you, Frank is in high spirits. I was there last week to see him. And believe me, he won't be happy if he hears you still brood over him every day. <laughs> oh, my friend. <laughs> So why is it coming? Why? Huh? I got it for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rose. I was, you know, I'm very proud of you. Mom was there and she talked about you. A new job. I thank God for you. Thank God for us. He did it for us. It's okay, man. Well, it's just that. It's just that I'm a new person now. 
I, I have encountered the efficacy of prayers and, and I join you to get closer to God. <laughs> Is that why you're looking so downcast? Uh, Rose, you know, you know we are miles apart now. I love you, yes, but, but I, I would not want to deceive you or myself by asking you to wait for me. I mean, you have your degree now and a good job. Well, I still have. I have six more years behind bars. You see? Don't waste your time with conflicts like me. Look, no man can be better than you. Remember what you used to say? That we have a great future together? Yeah. Frank, nothing has changed. Only this prison wall separates us. Don't forget that. Look, I still love you. Okay? Tomorrow will be sweet again. Trust me. I want you to know that the success and failure of this establishment squarely rest on your shoulders. Those are childhood pranks and euphoria should not be allowed to play in this. As you know, I'm not getting younger. We just employed a new company secretary. A beautiful and intelligent young lady. She's a lawyer by profession. She'll be working directly under you. Oh, Miss Okanga, please come in. Meet Mr. Patrick Tiroka, my son. He's also starting today as the new assistant director of this company. What is it? My oh, beautiful. What a pleasant coincidence. <laughs> Please sit down. <laughs> sit down. You see, we expect that both of you should translate your closeness and understanding of each other to produce a better result for this company. Yes, then. <laughs> yeah, that is all for now. I wanted both of you to meet. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Um, excuse me, Dad. This is the most unfortunate coincidence. God, I can't tolerate the sight of that good for nothing pest around me. My dearest Frank, to have meaning these eight years, we have been separated by prison walls. I miss you so much, but each day that passes by gives me hope that soon, it will be ten years and you will come back to me. You know, if we were not separated by prison walls, our first child would have been four or five years old now. Well, there is still time, and I will wait for you. Night and day I will wait, even if it rains and I'm getting cold. I will wait for your arms to bring warmth to my soul. Sorry I haven't come to see you for some time now. It's the pressure in my office. My new job is taking all my time. I hardly even have time for myself but I still find a place in my heart 
to think of you, my love. You will not believe this. Funny world. My immediate boss in the office is that notorious hoodlum called Puka Mezai. In my wildest imagination, I never thought I would ever come in contact with that bastard again in my life. But faith has a way of playing itself. I have so much to tell you, but it's late and I have to rise early tomorrow. So I will pause here for now until I hear from you. Always remember, I love you. And when you've done your time, I'll be home waiting for you. All my love, always. Rose. My dear Rose, Calvary greetings to you, my dear. I got a letter and the content was splendid. I understand with you, even if you came to see me once in a while, it's okay. I know you love me sincerely and I appreciate it. But I cannot continue to keep you waiting for me. You have waited. So, I urge you to wait upon our Lord Jesus Christ instead. For man might fail you, but the Lord would never fail you. He said in his word, that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. It is very painful, but I'm setting you free. Take your freedom, my dear, and continue your life. If it's God's will that will be man and wife, then his will will surely be done. I also read in your letter that Poka Messiah is now your new boss. Splendid. But please do forgive him of the past, just as our Lord Jesus Christ has forgiven us of our trespasses. I love you, and I don't forget you in my prayers. Please do me a favor. Continue your life with or without me. God bless you. since we got here. Is it because of me? Of course not. Then why don't you loosen up and socialize? I mean, the, the party is supposed to mark the end of the seminar itself. So why don't you mix? When I came down here for this training seminar, I didn't have it in mind to party. Oh, 
knows him. Rosie, why don't you give me a chance to express myself? I really love you. Free yourself from this, this self-imprisonment. Give me a chance to make you happy again. You can't. Yes, you can. You can. And I'll help you. Just give me the chance. Listen, I, I love you. I, I really do love you. Don't look at me as Pokemon Desire. That was yesterday. I sent for you because I need someone to talk to. Yes, yes I'm here. Talk to me. It's just a confusing situation, God. Talk to me. I'm listening. Huh? I'm pregnant. You are what? Pregnant. Oh, God, I thank you. Help! My baby. Thank you. For that stupid boy that is, that is jailed. Eh? It's not like that, man. It was a mistake. It happened in Port Harcourt when we went for a management training seminar. And it was just once. I didn't tell it to result to this. Mm. Have you told Patrick? No. The worst part of it is the doctor says I can't abort it. He warned me strongly against Abort what? Abortion? Come for it. What am I going to do? You better go and tell the truth. Hmm. I, I can't present the baby to Frank. Hmm? I have been there eight years and I'm just too to go and get pregnant. Anyway, it's alright, eh? Alright. I want to talk to you. Just now. I'm fine. I'll be great. What's wrong? I'm pregnant. For who? Can you ask me such a question? For you, of course. I was just joking. This is pregnant. That's great. <laughs> no, it's not. Like. Hey. Hey. Don't tell me about an abortion. Uh -huh. I can't have an abortion. Fine. I'm so confused. Patrick. You must help me. I will. I will. Listen, there's only one thing we can do now. Marry me. I can't marry you. You're pregnant for me. My baby. Huh? Listen. We'll get married now. Right now. Today. Say yes. We'll get married and betray Frank. How would the world look at me? Ooh. 
Ruzi. Would you prefer to have a child out of wedlock? Well, I can't stand this shame for me. Well, I guess it's not that bad after all. No, it's been very sweet of you. Now it's okay. Oh, yeah. Alright. Can I call you back? I will. No problem with you.
Все, I'm pregnant. I told you, that's beautiful. That's the point. No, that's beautiful. Excuse me. Yes. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Um, I'm asking for Ms. Rosemary Okanga. Um, this is the last address she wrote me with. Yes, she still lives here. Oh, thank you. Please, can I see her? She's getting married to be actually is She's getting married. Yes, we are on our way to the church. Uh, uh, excuse me, I. Can I follow you people to the church? I, uh, that's my taxi. I, I came with that taxi. That's kind of you. Okay. For us. Thank you. I 
Ivan, what really happened? My guest. Where is everybody? Um, actually, Chief, the, the reception venue is agog with news of what happened in church. Everybody's gone. Hey. Do you hear that? Izu, I promise I'm going to deal with that idiot. This will really happen. See Puka now. Yeah. See Puka just lie down for bed. My man, like a cripple man. Guys! This guy, this guy, this guy has to read on too much. This guy has to read on too much. Small. Zubairo, Zubairo, this is not the appropriate place to apportion blames. Puka is in a bad shape right now. But for that, Bunga fish. Don't worry, I go arrange her. A small thing. How? How? They forget the level. Ah, boy is there now. I mean, because he see me like this. Huh? But look at the young now. Just the girl, every gorilla. Abi. For for heaven's sake, eh? For heaven's sake, what sort of problem is this? Eh? What do you think you have the rules? Please, you have to let me stay here with you for a while, okay? I mean, I can't face my mother right now. Is, is that the most important thing now? This moves. The only problem you have is yourself. On your wedding day! Rose! Just at the point of being pronounced wife and to, to, to your husband, you decided to throw everything to the wind! Felda, I couldn't answer, I do. Look, the moment I saw Frank, I just stuck in my throat. Hey, do you understand? I don't know what to oh, do. Oh, don't now. tell me you don't know what to do. Don't tell me you don't know what to do. Listen, Rose. You've started this. And you must finish it. Who knows? Maybe that Frank of a guy has, has even cast a spell on you. Oh, no, Vlad, I don't say that. He has done no such thing. And don't talk about Frank in that manner, please. <laughs> you make me laugh. Do you think your mother is pleased with you? What about Patrick? What about his father? And all his guests you so openly disgraced? And just so that I don't... I don't know anything right now. Do you understand? In fact, I, I don't want to talk about this. I, I want to be left alone. What I want to do now is see Frank. How did he disappear from the accident scene? I don't know. Where are my shoes? Oh, friend. I'm sure he's waiting for you out there with a million dollar check to congratulate you for being pregnant for his archiver. And if you don't mind, please go take out this gown. I'll be the wedding never finish. Now fish shout, I love you. Listen, Frank, you are taking this matter too far. No one can truly blame Rosie. I am a woman. I can tell you that not many women will wait for a man seven a ten year jail time. Mom? Uh -uh. Yes. Every woman needs a man. Not one that is a thousand miles away, Frank. Certainly not one that is separated by the barriers of a prison wall. Can you imagine? Rose was actually going to marry that rascal. 
Boy, she very well knew was my sworn enemy in school. That too is because she is a woman. Frank, a woman's heart is like a product for sale. It goes to the highest bidder. My son, forget that ugly phase of your life. This is the time for you to start picking up the broken pieces of your life and moving on. Mom? Yes? You know I've never hidden anything from you. That's right. You know how much I love Rose. And, and how you she's love just... love Rose, all right. But reality on ground has proved otherwise. Frank, we should really be grateful to God, you know, that you're out of jail. Hey, what if you were not granted amnesty? You would have still been in jail far away in Medugri. Huh? Where is that boy now anyway? What do you call him? Patrick or whatever? I don't know. A car hit him as he ran across the road after Rose and I. Frank! You've had enough problems in the last eight years! I don't want you getting into fresh problems, Frank. And where are you going to? I just want to leave. my scheduled release from prison, you went and got married to poker? That bastard. That demon that nearly killed me because of you? Frank, but I waited. I waited, truly. But, but the devil had... But the devil did what? Rose, what happened to your promise of an endless love? What happened to our covenants to be true to each other till death do us part? I mean, why did you fall so cheaply? Worst of all, to poke a Messiah? Frank. Frank. How sweet for you to heap the blame on me. Frank, you weakened my resolve, you know. I mean, you, you, you made me lose faith in everything we had. You cast a shadow of doubt all over me. You set me free, remember? I love you, yes, but, but I, I would not want to deceive you or myself by asking you to wait for me. I mean, you have your degree now and a good job. All I still have, still have six more years behind bars. You see? Don't waste your time with a convict like me. I didn't mean it that way. I only wanted to free my mind, you know? Just, just wanted to unbutton my... Frank, what's, Frank, what's my listen, intention, you know? Listen, this is not the time to apportion blames on anybody. See, no, nothing has changed. Really, I've dented a little, yes, but... We can still make amends. I mean, we have time. I mean, this whole pregnancy thing and marriage thing was a big mistake. Ross! Did you 
you say you're pregnant? Yeah. Go pregnant for that. Go pregnant for. Oh my God. Don't touch me. unfortunate incident of yesterday is highly regrettable. The sudden appearance of your one-time friend Frank on a day that God has set aside to be one of our happiest is a ploy by the devil to destroy what we have taken time to build. I know how the two of you were those days in school, but I want you to realize that all things have passed away and everything has become new in both of us. Even though that boy Frank has by his action cost us our joy and totally embarrassed my father and his guests, I resist the urge to be angry with him. Rather, I concede to the fact that since you are involved, I should allow my love for you to prevail over his stupidity. Please do not mind or listen to him. I am sure he escaped from the prison purposely to come and spoil our day but he has failed. Once I am out of hospital, we shall go overseas to wed away from the evil plans of all the friends of this world. 
I know you have not come to see me because you did not know the hospital I was taken to. And I deliberately didn't send for you immediately because I didn't want my state to frighten you. Take very good care of yourself and I hope my baby is kicking. I hope to see you soon. Your love forever, Patrick. Stop. I, I, what exactly? Well, I don't see anything wrong with this. Anyway, you won't. And I don't expect you to. Besides, all this one is not my problem, right? And my problem right now is my mom and my uncle and especially my mom. You know her? I can just imagine the state she'll be in and... Oh, God. Anyway, I have made up my mind. That's fine. Just close. You just have to click things easy, okay? <laughs> Poke and leave that thing. A guy who jumped bail in fire away medically to come and disrupt your wedding should not be taken lightly at all. Okay. How are we even sure he did not arrange it to Rose? Eh? How? Is a Which kind of part are you the young? Eh? Okay. Why did she run away with him? Why has she not come here to look for you? At least knowing how critical your 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 condition is. Okay. I will tell you, there are too many questions without answers. I don't talk am. I have said it. Let us go and ambush that hotel. Then matter the bed very well. So that then go no say poker messiah. No be ordinary meat where one a seaman go just chew anyhow. I mean, you know be poker again. Huh? Zubi. Zubi. Book a day, a day, a day here. Listen. Society has a way of bestowing responsibilities on one. You see, all these our childhood fantasies we had at school have to give way to a new reality. Zubi. I am now a company director. Mom! company director! So, because you are now a director, one bag I go just come for salsa for your garden and go score free. You say you be company director. Okay! You don't be director now! Zubi. I'll handle this my own way. No problem. No problem, master. Poker, or whatever your name is. If it was a spell you cast on me, I can tell you now that it has lost its potency and I have regained my senses. Please, consider everything that had happened between us as a terrible nightmare from which the both of us have woken up. And please, again, do not expect to see me again. I talk him. I talk him. Not with this girl. I told you! No! I knew this girl was up to some mischief. I knew it! No! 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 What's happened? Um, nothing. What is going on here? Um, doctor, nothing. He just had a slight pain. That's I'm okay. Pain? Yes, you know, after what he went through, the pains keep coming and all that. I said, I'm all right! Well, well, well. Whatever the case, you must realize that this is a hospital. And there are other patients here, for goodness sake. We have tolerated you because of your father. But you are overstretching that privilege now. Nurse, call three other nurses quickly and relocate him to his um, But Dr. Why now is... Tomorrow! How about these people? I said it there, or give Nurses. 
to buy you. To buy you. Anyhow. I don't want to know anyhow. I want you to bring that girl here. Bring Rosie here. Look, that one not be problem. I go arrange her. I tell you, say, boys, they leave that to me. And as for that boy, Frank, I made a mistake some years back. I should have taken care of him. And as for Rosie, I'll make her realize that no matter how old, the leopard never loses its spots. Have you not been Messiah? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Poker, poker Messiah. This leg don't go. Ah, poker. Mm. This leg don't go. Mm. Hey, poker Messiah. Messiah. Poker. Messiah. Don't go. Mama, look, I am truly sorry for whatever pain or. Embarrassment I might have caused you. Truly, I am. But try and understand, I made a mistake. Will you shut up? And stop telling me useless story about mistakes. Mistake by foot. You admitted a man in between your legs. It was a mistake. You became pregnant for him. It was a mistake. You agreed to marry him. It was a mistake. And you did not realize your mistake until you were in the altar with him before the whole world to be pronounced husband and wife. Then suddenly, suddenly Frank came and reminded you that you were making a mistake. How about Rose, do you want to kill me? Eh? Oh, you kill me? No, kill me, Rose. Mama, please. You're, no, kill me. Wait, wait, you're taking this thing to fight. It's not like that. Oh, okay, let's just say eh, I was crazy. I, I was mad or something, but... What? But Mama, I have gained my sanity now. How? You understand with me. Whatever it is that that boy, Frank, has done to you that is making you behave like someone without brains or wherever he has taken you that has turned your head away from reason and common sense that you no longer respect your mother me your mother Rose oh Saloba God will never let him succeed God will not allow him to succeed the God I serve will not let him succeed do you hear me? Mama look Frank has not taken me anywhere I mean he, he has not Keep quiet! Keep quiet Rose! Okay, kill me, I want to go kill me. Ross, kill me, I want to nail you. Hello, Barissa. I want you to do everything possible to send that boy back to jail. Why? Who granted a criminal amnesty? Of course, he cost it. He totally embarrassed my guest, spoiled my day, my son's accident. Listen, Barissa. Claim enormous damages. I have mobilized enough resources to prosecute this case. And if you feel you cannot handle it, let me know. Some will have it. Sweet Cinderina. So you thought you could hide from your shadows, huh? And who are you? What, what shadows? Who are you? What do you want? If you wish to scream, you can go ahead. But I tell you, not even the entire U.S. Marine can get you off this hook today. Well, baby girl, 
Just like the goldfish, huh? There is no hiding place for you. Now, listen. Listen real good. You will follow us right now to answer for your sins. To so where? Please. I said, please do not do anything funny. Zubi. Oh, oh. You hurt yourself. Zubi. I mean it. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And Zubi, you're still letting yourself be used by a man like you? Look at you. Still parading yourself like the useless cultist you have always been. After several years of graduation, eh, Zubi? <laughs> well, that's your own opinion, baby. <laughs> Like I said, you have to follow us to answer for your sins because it's judgment day for you. The Messiah wants to see you. <laughs> Do not make a noise. Let's go, Cinderina. Well, if Patrick wants to see me, I will see him at my own time. No, it has to be now because the Messiah has spoken. He wants to see you. Please. Shall we? Please, be my guest. Thank you. <laughs> What is it? Why won't you leave me alone? Look, it's over, okay? So all this while, you had a secret agenda with that, that fool to scuttle our wedding. Hmm? Ah! Zubaino! Fuck up. Oh. Boca don't mess for Final eclipse of fucking up. Papenka, eight years ago, I could have crushed that boy like an ant. But I, Pokam Messiah, chose to let him live. Atoka Mabi. Atoka. Papanka. If you see Luciano, make you ask. I told my guy, Poka. Moku end this guy. Moku eliminate this guy, eradicate once and for all. Poka said no. That, 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 that we should just um, um, frame him up. Can you imagine? I don't my shit finish. Puka go. Puka self say he get idea. Who come be who for this school now? Say! Now waiting the tens. Puka. One baby bastard. Chai! No, Zubi! Zubi, no! No! Eh? Hapu! Hapu the guy! Viva! I could give him no way he will carry for the rest of his life. Eh? Viva! <laughs> no, be babe! Boka said that he would rather give him a load that he will carry for the rest of his life. Now, you know that they carry so, at least, he don't carry the load, scatter your wedding. The guy don't hit you by full time. The embarrassment. The shame. All the money spent everything. Ah! Okay, you fuck up. Ah! Jumano. And to think that, that this, this idiot was in league with him. Zubi. 
Rabiyanka Mussolini. Adeba, me. Adeba! No shakies! No shakies! of your life with that beast. Just please, don't let anything happen to my baby. Patrick, are you trying to tell me you're the reason Frank was behind us for eight years? Shooting a man just to frame Frank up? <laughs> How crazy can you be? How wicked can you be? My God, you are me. You, you are a beast. You're the devil's incarnate himself. You're just a... I hate you, God. I hate you. Ever Shut up, up, you little spoiled swine! And now you listen. If you know what is good for you, by the time I am discharged from here, you get on the next plane with me to the UK. Or else, you and your little boyfriend will die! Die! Do you understand me? Ah! You beast! You hear me? You dirty dog! Think so much of yourself. Shame of yourself! Just been a waste on you! That beast did not do worse harm. Huh? What can be worse than this? You see her lying lifeless. Velda, what did she go and do in the hospital? I thought she said she was no longer interested in marrying him again. Oh my god. Mama, that boy is no good. He's a dead <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Rose initially hated him so much. <laughs> please, 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 madam, please. We don't encourage crying beside patients that are in critical condition. Please. Mama, listen to the doctor. It's all right. And if you ask me, I think uh, she narrowly escaped. Because she actually did bleed a lot. Madam, please. And I'm sorry too to add that she lost the pregnancy. Please, please, like I said, I think it, it, it's a miracle she's still alive. Ensure that she's not disturbed, okay? No one is gonna have me. It's all right, it's okay. Put yourself together. It's all right, it's okay. When I just thought I was going to carry my dress, it's okay, Mama. Honestly, I'm tempted to say that.
should be going. I shall come to see her again. Um, let me see if I'll be able to convince Frank to come. I know it's a difficult period for him, more especially now that he's um, trying to go back to school.
she want, what does she want to tell me? That she's sorry. That it was a mistake she got pregnant for the guy who, who drew back the hand of my club for eight years. What? At least, read the letter and hear what she has to say. Mom, huh? Mom, I'm not interested. She should just leave me alone. Frank, then you have not truly accepted the teachings of Jesus Christ. If you cannot forgive, Hmm? So, so I should go and tell I'm sorry. That was my fault. This girl is critically sick in the hospital and requests to see you. That's not too much to ask for, is it? But mom, how do I face a girl who... who... <sighs> Shut. Frank. Mom, I'm sorry. Don't you understand what? The bomb you are talking about here is a hardened criminal. Yes! He was jailed 10 years for murder. But, but, but nobody knows how he managed to escape from prison. Are you sure of what you are talking about? I am. Uh -huh. the officer, did we come to make such a report yesterday? I, I am telling you that hey. a, a, a criminal is roaming around the street free. Exactly. So, well, if you people don't want to arrest him, I just thought this man is a hard Exactly. Yes. Are you sure it's not one of those people who the government granted amnesty? Ah, no! Amnesty all this, it can't be possible. To you, my dear boss. Thank you. you remember the federal government just granted about um, 500 people amnesty? Yes, yes sir. At least just came from the first headquarters, sir. Just on the wall. What is his name? Uh, uh, Frank or Frank, Frank, yes. Frank. You got it. Hey, good, good, good. It's one of them. Uh, we, we, we just thought that uh, uh, good citizens of this country to come and uh, report. Uh, Thank you so much. Because it's not for 10 years. We want to go like you. We appreciate. Yes. In fact, this is exactly what we want from the general public. But sir, the neighbor is in trouble. Lives are not safe there, sir. Anyway, you see, the police is your friend, so we just don't do the police work. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. 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 Before a cat. It's not a mere dream. Then what is it? I saw a boy trying to run away with, with my wife. I tried to stop him. Then the police came and shot at me. Patrick, you are a fool. How do you mean? Didn't you hear what I just said? Don't you understand? Because she's not your wife. Are you making sense? Huh? A girl who was pregnant for me? A girl who was about to get married to me before the same boy came and ran away with her from the altar 
on my wedding day. You see why I said she's not your wife? Listen, if only we could seek the face of God in everything we do, if only we could listen to the voice of reason, no man will have any cause to drag a woman with another man. Because every man has a God-given wife. And that includes you, Patrick. Oh, Bata. Heavy. Oh, Bata. Eki, you mean I should sit down and watch while a boy who stole my wife goes cut free? <laughs> Eki, you do not know Boka Messiah. Patrick, answer this question. If she's truly your God-given wife, why will she run away with you? Because the stupid boy deceived her. Supposing you're the one deceiving her and deceiving yourself. Eh? Ah. <clears throat> are, are you not just a policeman? A common policeman? What do you know? Eh? One-way traffic. See? If you like, follow me anywhere you like. Listen to what my father has said. Follow me into the toilet, into the bedroom. If I catch that boy, if I catch him, I will kill him. And if you do that, you will be arrested and charged for murder and be executed. Not only that, you will have proven me right that you are really a big fool. <laughs> Even though I do not possess the moral right to ask for your forgiveness, please permit me to still address you as my darling Frank. This is not an attempt to change your opinion about me, but even as my light dwindles, I feel a desperate need to see you for the last time, not to ask for your forgiveness as I have said, but to let you know that events of the past as they concern us are beyond me. I was not deceiving you when I confessed my love for you. And even now that I am going down, I still carry your tender love in my heart. Only God can tell why fate brought me where I have found myself. Frank, please, before my sun sets, before my night falls, indeed, before my roses wither, oblige me this last wish that I see you for the very last time and bid you goodbye and I would have died satisfied. Rose to the sky. Right? Are you looking? Mm -hmm. And watch out for a falling star. Make a wish. And how long do I have to wait for a falling star to make a wish? Shh. Don't look. If you have to wait for me, how long will it take? Eternity. <laughs> Still not looking. Frank. Now, eyes closed. Use your eyes. Frank. 
prefer to make a wish. How will it be? To love you for the rest of my life. This is beautiful. Thank you. It's nothing compared to you. See? Baby, you're the most beautiful girl in the whole world. And I love you. Nothing can take your place in my heart. Our love will never die. Though we laugh and cry, I belong to you. No. About the promise of love. About me. Rose, why did you do this to me? She has not opened her eyes for two days. She's not eating or drinking anything. Said not even a word. Dr. Please, I'm so scared. Don't worry. No problem. Hmm? Like I told you, your friend's problem is psychological. She's deeply hurt by a major emotional breakdown. But don't worry. That's the problem. Otherwise, she's medically okay now. Oh, come on. In no time, she'll come around, okay? Please. See your grave to your old age. Okay? Frank! So, that's Frank. I told you, she'll come around. All she needed was to face the brighter side of life.
Chief, he can go home now. You see, we thank God that the bones have successfully joined. But as much as possible, he must avoid trouble so that the bones do not shift from the joints. You can tell him that. Did you hear him now, Patrick? Did you hear the doctor now? Well, Nonsense. Well, 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 that's by the way. Mr. Patrick, you are required to come for weekly physiotherapy treatment, okay? Um, doctor, thank you. Eh? All right. Sir. Thank you. No go now. Smile now. Now, what? I am amazed when I look at you. I see you smiling back at me It's like all my dreams come true I am afraid If I lost you, girl I'd fall through the cracks and lose my track In this crazy, lonely world Sometimes it's so hard to believe When the nights can be so long And faith gave me the strength and keep me going on You are the love of my life And I'm so glad you found me You are the love of my life Baby, put your arms around me I guess this is how it feels When you finally find something real My angel in the night You are my love Love of my life Now here you are With midnight close in You take my hand as our shadows dance With moonlight on your skin I look in your eyes I'm lost inside your kiss I think if I'd never met you About all the things I'd missed Sometimes it's so hard to believe When a love can be so strong And faith gave me the strength And kept me going on You are the love of my life And I'm so glad you found me You are the love of my life Baby, put your arms around me I guess this is how it feels When you finally find something real My angel in the night You are my love Love of my life You are the love of my life And I'm so glad you found me You are the love of my life Baby, put your arms around me I guess this is how it feels When you finally find something real My angel in the night You are my love my angel in the night, you are my love, love of my life. I am amazed when I look at you, I see you smiling back at me. It's like all my dreams come true, I am afraid. If I lost you, girl, I'd fall through the cracks and lose my track in this crazy, lonely world. Sometimes it's so hard to believe when the nights can be so long and faith gave me the strength and kept me going on. You are the love of my life. 
Shadows dance with moonlight on your skin. I look in your eyes. I'm lost inside you, yes. I think if I'd never met you, about all the things I'd missed. Sometimes it's so hard to believe when a love can be so strong and fate gave me the strength. And get me going on. You are the love of my life, and I'm so glad you found me. You are the love of my life, baby. Put your arms around me. I guess this is how it feels when you finally find something real. My angel in the night, you are my love. Love of my life, you are the love of my life, and I'm so glad you found me. You are the love of my life, baby. Put your arms around me. I guess this is how it. When you finally find something real, my angel in the night, you are my love. My angel in the night, you are my love, love of my life. Uh. My in law. My in law. 
You're welcome. <laughs> at last, at last, my dear. <laughs> oh, yeah, the rapper, so. Mm -hmm. For the wedding, Abby. my sister. <laughs> Let me use this one. I don't eh? mind. <laughs> Yes, I do. Praise God! And do you, Miss Rose Okanga, take ye this day, Master Frank, to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish the sickness you again? Who are you? And what do you want? Frank. I know I have tormented you all these years. Even framed you. All because of Rose. But that has not stopped you from loving each other. That has not even stopped your love from waxing stronger. I have come here today to ask you to forgive me, if you can. But if you can't, lead me to God. Is this your man? Where are you from? Have a blissful married life. Thank you. 